Can we still hear us? Stream dead? I think it's back now. It should be back. Yeah, there's some more Macross. So right. does that actually fit onto the other guy? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it fi actually fits onto this one. That's the oh, scale. Okay. It's in Gerwak mode right now. Hey, look, there's a Tommy figure. Oh, there we go. Look at that one. What is the shirt? The Never. The Never, that's right. My friend's band. And then this is all the equipment. So this is where I do my digital stuff. So working on, uh, right now I'm doing that um, Jupiter's Legacy. Oh, if people like Snake Eyes, there's a G.I. Joe figure that I like. And then, um, that's the original Snake Eyes, right? Yeah. You used to have yeah. the goggles and stuff? Yeah. And then here's some Ray Harryhausen stuff, people like that. Those are pretty rare. So Melissa, my wife, thinks that I named my daughter Scarlet after Scarlet. Uh-huh. But no comment. No comment? This is Cobra. Oh, is this a Zoltar? What's the guy's Zartan. name? Zartan. Zartan. Does this guy change colors when you put <laughs> drop him in water? water or something? <laughs> I remember that summer, that was the hottest Oh, there's point. a JP drawing on the wall of my oh, character. Oh, look at that, yeah. Is that Teddy Grant, too? Yeah. And can anybody guess what this is? Oh, the ship? The ship, the white ship. Yeah, that should be a prize if somebody's old enough to get that. You know, it's, I think it's streaming on Amazon Prime now. Oh. This episode, this, this series. Yeah. But it's like so slow. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Here's where, and then that's, this is where I do all my paintings. Here, let me get out a painting and I'll show you. Uh, what's up, D. Rogers? Hey, K-Pop. What's up, Matthew? Oh, here's the original painting for... Uh, uh, Hazel and Cha Cha Umbrella Academy Christmas special. So, most of my paintings I do here, and on the other table over there is where I do my ink drawings. And then, and here is like, you know, kind of where I keep all my supplies, you know, pencils and paint and everything. So, yeah, you know, before they started releasing all these awesome Alex Toth books, you yeah. know, I used to go and have to find all that stuff. You know, we used to find them at comic shops yeah. and uh, share Xeroxes with each other and, you know, and then now there's all these books. But yeah, from, I guess from here over is all Toth and, um, and then this is Hugo Pratt and then this is all Mobius, you know, Jean Giraud, <clears throat> but... So I kind of have it all organized pretty well. To, but um, <laughs> let's look at these things again. Mothra. I guess Mothra was a moth. Yeah. Is that how you say moth in Japanese? Mothra. No. Uh, Who is this guy? That's Jet Jaguar. He's Jet on Jaguar, my elbow. That's right. See? That's right. We drew Jet Jaguar once. Oh yeah. Is that the scale? Like these two or no? No. No. He's, he's the same, he's the size, same size as Godzilla. Because there's a human in in full suits. <laughs> Did you see the latest? Those are the I like these monthly. guys too. These are I like these are some of my favorites. This Godzilla two thousand. And then Space Godzilla. That shit's looking pretty dark, though. Huh. I should have my phone and use the flashlight. Let me see if I can if I can flip the camera around. 
Okay, yeah, here we go. All right, I got this camera going around, so now I can, now I can read the. Oh yeah, now you can see what people are yeah, saying. Yeah, now I can look at this. Moth in Japanese is just ga, says Matthew Crossheart. Mm. And then there's a second story upstairs. Yeah, it's really messy right now, but I have a lot of of original art up there. We could do another stream sometime and go through the files. Like art by like you know other uh, artists. What's up, yo Jimbo? Good to see you, Jamie O'Dell. By the way, did Jerry ever get the name of the Rat Lady? Hey, Bobby K. These ones are really pretty rare. These, these are all really special. This clock too. This is like a vintage. I know. I know. It's stuck on twelve thirty forever. Mm. Well, it's right two times a day. And there's the drawing of me uh, riding Godzilla by Peach uh, oh, Yom there we go. Yomoko. Momoko. You look like a wild lion there. Yeah. These are crazy heavy. This resin. That's like a resin. Uh, I dropped one one time. <laughs> this guy right here? Yeah, I uh, the one I dropped, I, I hide. Oh. So I'm embarrassed. Um, there's Jet Jaguar again. There we go. That's Jerry's favorite. Oh, yeah. Jet Jaguar. And there's, uh, actually those little Godzilla Russian doll thing right there opens up. There's a bunch that of little guys in there. there. Yeah. There's another Jet Jaguar. That one has like a little Micronaut guy inside of it. Oh, wow. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's the giant robos I was talking about. The Johnny Sacco. Uh-huh. I have a Johnny Sacco figure somewhere. I don't know. He's somewhere. What happened to the missiles on that? I remember the missiles. The yeah. The thing had missiles that you could shoot out of. Yeah. yeah. All that shit's gone, man. All gone? They used to bury that stuff in the yard and then dig it up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so you didn't take care of stuff when you were, you know, four. You know, whatever. How many Mothras do you have? I don't know. That's another Mothra. There's bat the, that's um Mega Gearus. Oh, I have a cool Batra figure. I just don't remember where it is. We probably saw it. Oh yeah, he's over there. <laughs> right by Biolanti. Looks kinda like Gremlins. Oh yeah. Look at this guy. Yeah. This is Shin Godzilla again. But, uh, what's, uh, and then this, the Mecha Kong, this is like a very rare figure. Both of those are very rare. What's your, what's the most rare figure here? I don't know. Honestly. Of the Godzillas. I'm not sure. Well, that one's your most favorite. Right? Yeah. That one right there is your favorite. Yeah. They're all really limited, but that's only like a few years old, that one. Can I pick that up? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at that detail on that. Yeah. It's amazing. These are made by X Plus in Japan. Does it make a sound? No. I do have some that do do that, though. Well, do you remember this? They made a f some figures from um, Rusty the Big Guy. This is serious business. Oh. Fire in the hole! Oh, this, this is a couple almost more Mazingas here. Yeah, those were the Shogun Warriors. They released the little die-cast metal ones. Has your dog ever eaten any of any of uh Yeah. Yeah, she when Una was little she would uh she found some figures like upstairs on the floor and, and ate them. Did you wait until she pooped them back out? <laughs> to to no? to no Yeah, clean up and then put it back and one of these that she poop back out. That's why I have this this high tech barrier on the stairs right now. And she can't get through that? No, well, she probably could, but Kaladin couldn't. When was this? Uh, 
It's New York City? Yeah, that's that's 1995 or 6, something like that. Yeah. It was John Paul Leon and Steve Mitchell, Mitch Itkowitz, Howard Chaikin, and me. Mm. Look at... Everybody's very young. <laughs> Oh, lots of Star Wars books because not so much now, but I used to do so much Star Wars stuff, so I had to have all these Star Wars. Yeah, Sean says uh, we would make all this money at conventions and you would go blow, blow it on like Godzilla toys. Yeah, Godzilla's and Macross. Yeah. yeah. Here's, and then I like all my. Oh, wait. Was there a King Kong and Skullcrawler? Oh, there was one up here. Like, over. Which is the is Skullcrawler? It is it that thing? The. The pink thing? No, behind. No, no, here. Bernard's too short. Here. Uh, that. That thing. If, if I think Jamie was Jamie O'Dell was asking. There's uh more Star Wars books. <laughs> and, and all of this was taxed. Deductible. Because yes, it's because research. it's all for work. Right, yeah. it's all research. You use these actually for reference. That's true, actually. James Bond. Oh, what's this? What's this, this guy? That's right the Matrix. Here? That's the Matrix. Matrix guy? two and three. Oh. Remember, like underground and Zion, and they would fight the robots that would come in. Uh, I never saw the third mm -hmm. one. Yeah, those are the robots. Oh, okay. The Sentinels or whatever. Right. Jeff Darrow designed that stuff. True man. D. Rogers, thanks for the sub. Ten months. Oh, and then Galactus is up there. You know, gotta put him right up there. And then Iron Giant. So there's a couple American things up in there. Are there ever any earthquakes in North Carolina? <laughs> no, we had a th very couple very small ones due to uh, some fracking. Fracking. Yeah. fracking. As I look upstairs. Mostly up there is like, I have lots of like reference material, model kits, costumes, so lots of film stuff, uh, all artwork. It's like a mess right now since my son moved back home and we're kind of like consolidating a bunch of our yeah. stuff together up there. Oh, and then Gamera, do people like Gamera? Here's some Gamera figures. It's the turtle guy, right? Yeah. He's he's a friend to all children. He's a good guy? Gamma's yeah. a good guy? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember how I had this one set up. Be a fly, see? There. Yeah. I love this thing. Remember I got this at New York Comic Con and I had to ship it home. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, here, now we can see the artist edition books. Better. Okay. Will Eisner. My favorite are the, yeah, the Jack Davis, like the. They're so gigantic. Daryl designed the Squiddies in yeah. the Matrix? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gamora section. So imagine working in this studio every day. Here's some more. There's the Star Wars paintings. Oh, this is some this of the, the covers for Marvel. Uh, X-Wing uh, series. So that's gouache, and watercolor, inks. No, yeah, there's some ink. Color that's the pencils. original. Yeah, that's the original. Mind if I... Yeah, you can touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. How does the bar music go? Don't let him kid you. That music is on 24-7 in the studio. Yeah. 
Here's a bunch of originals from Grendel, Kentucky. So that's what these look like. These are larger than than usual. Uh, 14 yeah. by 19? Yeah. So Grendel, Kentucky just came out through AWA. AWA. So this book I did all traditional ink on, yeah. on board, you know, on paper. So... The Jupiter's Legacy is all digital. Yeah. It depends on the project. And then after a while, I'll get sick of doing one one way, and then I'll just have to switch again. <laughs> oh, look at this. I found this uh, a design I did for the Book of Eli movie. Oh, uh, yeah. And I was working on the set, and Gary Oldman signed that. My son Henry really liked Gary Oldman, so he signed it for Henry. <laughs> it was a because he was on there. It was right after they cast him, so I was able to make some of the drawings at the end actually look like him. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can see a shift. Yeah. This was the initial mm -hmm. concept sketch, and then this is the finished render. And yeah. yeah. So what was the twist with this movie that uh, were, he was an actual robot at the end? Yeah, yeah, he's a robot. Kevin P. West wants to live with you now, Tommy. <laughs> that could be a, another like a contest. Yeah, uh, free two night, uh, three night, two three day. Uh, Two night, three oh, day look stay. This, look at this plush one. All dude. inclusive. Oh, Did you see go. the plush giant robo? Johnny Sacco? I had that custom made by a good friend of mine. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look at the arms move. Yeah. They they swivel. Can you and... can we look under the skirt? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Look at the jetpack. Isn't that awesome? Holy cow. So, are you more of a Star Trek or Star Wars fan? If you had to choose. Uh, I don't know. Nowadays, I don't know. Well, you know, you know I really like the Han Solo movie, though. Okay. I have some Han Solo figures. Oh, you like the Han Solo movie when yeah, he was the, younger? No, I like the, yeah, 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 the new one. I thought it was awesome. It felt like a real Star Wars movie. Okay, let's 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 go back. Let's do a quiz. <laughs> uh, Battlestar Galactica or the Black Hole? Oh wait, let me let me go back. Jeez, let me go back. Tough, let me go that's, back. That's okay. Impossible. So you have to pick one. Well, you have to pick one. Okay, let me go back. Because uh, those two kind of came out at the same time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Battlestar Galactica or Black Hole? Battlestar Galactica. Okay. Better story. All right. <laughs> I'll uh, that one. Battlestar Galactica or I know what you're gonna say Buck Rogers. That's tough. I'd have to go with Battlestar again. Okay, I mean Bal Buck Rogers. Buck Rogers is terrible. It was a lot of fun when you were a kid. Yeah. But yeah. if you rewatch it now, <laughs> uh, woof. I, I would. I make my kids watch it as punishment. Woof. Like when they're bad, you know, I would put on Buck Rogers and make them watch it. No, nah, Daddy, no. Nah. Buck Rogers or Black Hole. Well, one's a TV show, you know. One you have a lot more, right. of, you know. The Black Hole was actually not bad. Like, the Black Hole's great, like, and it has a John Barry score, one of the best scores he ever did. Okay. So. The Black Hole or the Last Starfighter? Black Hole. Black Hole. Ooh, that was a very quick one. <laughs> uh, the Last Starfighter or Buck Rogers? Buck Rogers. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. I thought the Last Starfighter was kind of yeah, interesting, fine. you know. Yeah. It was the first CG movie ever made. Yeah. Computer all all computer graphics, or CGI. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, I have lots. I have some. Hey, look at these Battlestar ships. I got a Viper and a. Oh yeah. What's the Cylon? Cylon. Cylon uh, Raider. Raider. That's the old school Viper too from yeah. the, from the original That's series. That's the old Raider, yeah, yeah, too. And then a bunch of my favorite Star Trek ships. I had an original Pegasus, a Battlestar, but it was Pegasus. Holy crap! 
Oh, actually, in here is the new, come on this side. You're gonna see a lot of cobwebs, though. There's Battlestar from the new oh, show. Oh, okay, all right. From the new show, and then some f some small ships from the new show. Oh, there we go. I love that show. The original Battlestar Galactica or the new Battlestar Galactica? New Battlestar Galactica. Oh, the new Battlestar Galactica. Except for the last The season. original Starbuck or the new Starbuck? The new Starbuck. <laughs> the new, you didn't like Dirk Benedict? No, he's fine. No. A-Team? A-Team Dirk Benedict or original Battlestar Galactica <laughs> Dirk Benedict? <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. Okay, A-Team or Knight Rider? Oh. Knight Rider was so cool. Yeah. Oh, oh this is a JP drawing too. Look at that one. Those uh, all quiet on the Western Front. He and I did some covers for these uh, Classics Illustrated reprints. And a lot of these other ones on the wall. These are Herbert Morton Stoops. He's an illustrator that did a lot of stuff in the old pulp magazines and stuff. Yeah. Uh, this is from 1921. Wow. And so these I got at Illustration House gallery in new york i might have actually bid on these when that photo of us uh, hanging out in new york tommy this one's a little damaged <laughs> that's because these airplanes are all fighting around it did you drop this one's a little damaged too on the corners yeah right here. it's it's a that that is a, almost a hundred years old that drawing did the dog get to it no but you know what they did get to this one they got to this copy of Turf. Oh, look at so that. I can't fit. <laughs> look at that. It's this Earth now. Yeah. The T is silent. And this Batmobile I love too. I got to see that in real life a couple times. That's right. And yeah, working on the, the first movie. When we, we did a show in Chicago. Yeah. The infamous it, uh, Where's the Pain at story. Yeah. And then in the UK, we went. JP and I went to Shepperton Studios to do some stuff in England on the movie, and they brought us into a little shed, yeah. and they opened the door, and there was the Batmobile. It was, but it was this one? It was, was a different one. It was that one, but it was camouflage. Oh. Remember in the first movie, there's a camel one at first, because Wayne is developing it as a military vehicle. That Did you get to sit it. inside of it? No. There's these ones, too, though. There's these classics. Didn't you love this when you were little? It's that one, yeah. And that was like the only thing on TV that was like... I mean, they had the older black and white Superman show. Yeah. Uh, and then you maybe had... Electric Company Spider-Man. Electric Company Spider-Man, which was the best. And if they didn't have Electric Company Spider-Man, it was Electric Company Letterman. They rotated every week. Hey, did anybody guess what this is? Or to look at the comments. Did anybody guess what this was? Anybody guess? So this is another P-38, like I have a model of on my wall over there. This is one that crashed in the Arctic, and they dug it up and restored it. And this is a piece of the actual fuselage that they wow. took off the plane. So I'm going to hang that up there. I just can't get up there yet. I need, I'm going to have to lift Bernard up. No, nobody's gotten that yet. Ah. Yojimbo says TV series with Martin Landau, which is, yes. That's a good hint. That's a good hint. But nobody's got it yet. Kevin P. West says 2001 Space Odyssey. Mm. Some of the same designers. Yeah. That's not it. Look at the spikes on the back of that guy. Look how awesome that is. Does he have an anus? <laughs> like, where does Godzilla poop from? This is not anatomically correct. Yeah, it is. He he doesn't poop. He's like Kim Jong Un. He doesn't poop. He's like he he burns up all of his energy, oh. so there's no there's no waste. Okay. All right. Oh, here's a uh, here's some books that people might like. Uh, this is all Sergio Topi. You know the Italian oh, artist yeah. Sergio Topi. And Dino Battaglia. 
And down here is my Rip Kirby books. This is the best thing. Most people know Alex Raymond for Flash Gordon, obviously, but my favorite is uh, Rip Kirby. And then I gotta have some MotoGP motorcycles. Who's your favorite MotoGP guy now? Uh, now, I don't know. Hard to say because a lot of guys have just retired. But uh, it's hard to deny Mark Marquez is like the best. But, right, Una? Hey, Una, do you like to stream with Bernard? What's Bernard doing? <coughs> what? <coughs> What's he doing? Do you need help? <coughs> All right. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, see, Sean is mesmerized by the eyes. Your dog has human eyes. Yeah, well, that's where I got him. Right, buddy? Like Minority Report. Hey, Jim Chung's on. Hey, buddy. Jim Chung, what is Jim Chung's favorite toy? Let's see if Tommy has it. Uh, I only got like 8% battery left. <laughs> Here, you can plug it in over there. Hmm? Oh, I got a portable. It's a, it's a mini Australian Shepherd? Yeah. All right, let's see if it should be, should be powering. Man, the charger's bigger than your phone. Yeah, it's the old school. Did Tommy say his favorite, uh, did Jim Chung say his favorite, uh, toy? Let's see, any, uh, the Kevin P. West got it, Space 1999. Yep, got it. Uh, Jim Chung said it first. Ah, Jim Chung gets a no price. Jim Chung gets an inclusive... Two night, three day stay in the Tommy Lee Edwards studio. <laughs> but there's there's no uh the bathroom is outside by the tree. Alright, let me see if I can scroll up on this chat thing. It's pretty spooky outside. It's dark. I put all those lights up. Can you guys see any ghosts out there? I think that. Hmm? Do you want to see some Jupiter's Legacy step by step? Can you show some? A little bit. All right. Let me know when. All right. You can put the seat, put it at the. Uh, uh, okay. So yeah. So it's all digital, working in layers. Is it glaring or something? No, no. I'm just hiding the name, but that's just the size, so it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Um, so yeah, we're kind of just drawing and painting and layers on this stuff. It's all in Photoshop. And then the, there's John's lettering on there. John Workman. Uh -huh. So it's a lot of experimenting on this book. It's kind of the, the way I might do more of my, uh, film and animation stuff. But, um, you know, usually... You know, it's just way too time consuming, and 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 yes, it is too time consuming. <laughs> you know, like this this crap. Um, this is fun though. I like I like working from like dark to light. You know, like yeah. adding in the shapes and stuff. Yeah, painting, like, stuff glowing, you know, like fire. Oof. So this is all from Jupiter's Legacy Issue 1. 
When's it coming out? Next week, actually. Next week? Yeah. June. Next, next Wednesday. Are you sure? I thought it was like middle of June. Uh, June 20 or something. June 20th. I thought it was June 20. I don't know. Hmm. It's, I think it's pretty soon. I think it's next week, but maybe not. Does your Jimbo know? Probably. It is, see, Jing, it is kind of like Blair Witch. Uh, outside? Outside, yeah. <laughs> I keep thinking, like, there's going to be, like, night walkers. Not night walkers, zombies walking through the, the woods. Oh, there's no zombies, just werewolves. Just werewolves? Yeah. Mm. All right. I think we're going to call it a night. This is going to be a short stream today. Uh, couldn't get the iPad figured out, but... Hopefully next time. Uh wanna thank everybody for showing up today. It's a very quick impromptu stream. Yeah, thanks for visiting guys. We had uh thank you for Tommy for opening up his studio. Mm -hmm. We had a very uh Bernard's helping me a little bit on uh He's on... making me rake the leaves and uh <laughs> clean the studio. Uh but yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be bunkered in here working, and uh, so we'll try to see everybody again next week. Uh, I think the sketch of the week, battle of the sketches, is Ghostbusters. Uh, if you guys are up for that, uh, Racer GRX has awesome studio, Tommy. Cool. Thanks, Thanks. for the tour. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty amazing, you know. I don't know why anybody would leave. You could just stay in here. Well, you know, you, if you do this kind of stuff for a living and you have to work so hard at it, it's like you might as well surround yourself with the stuff that you like and the stuff that inspires you. Yeah. And then my daughter used to go to school and say that her daddy lives in a house behind her house. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, you know, you got to, you know, if... I was fortunate enough to be able to, when we bought this house about 20 years ago, you know, like that I was able to chip away at getting the studio built and, you know, and take some time, but, you know, but yeah, it's great. It's a lot easier to do this out in North Carolina than where Bernard lives in LA, so, right? Well, it's so clean here too and organized. I mean, it gets better. That's why I haven't done a tour of my studio yet. <laughs> <laughs> So, Yo Jimbo says June sixteenth. So you're right. Next week. Oh, cool! All June right, 16th. great. Yeah. Leg so, so Jupiter's Legacy. Jupiter's Legacy number one next week. At your local comic book store. Uh, yeah. Six issue. Six issue. Well, twelve ultimately. Thank A lot you. of work. Can you talk about any about anything about the story? Is it the same thing as the show or no? Well, it's different from the show. It's more of a, it's a continuation of the comic, okay. you know, which inspired the show. The original comic. Yeah. So it's it's basically the 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 final volume where everything, you know, kind of gets answered and ends. So yeah, it's uh, there's been a, there's been a lot of lingering questions in the first, the one that Mark and and Frank Quitely did, and then mm -hmm. and then Mark and. And um, Wilfredo Torres and some guys did another one, Jupiter Circle, which is like an older oh, Jupiter story. Jupiter Circle? Okay. Yeah, that's all part of one big Jupiter's Legacy. So so mine's Jupiter's Legacy. It was just called Jupiter's Requiem. But then we thought, we'll just keep with the Jupiter's Legacy title. You know, keep stick with the branding and everything, you know. And okay. then uh, you, you'll you get to see how these characters actually did get their powers uh, and there's a whole new generation, once again. It looks amazing. <laughs> Thanks. It looks amazing. So, all right, Way Way High says thanks, guys. Uh, make sure you blow us some kisses before you sign off. Uh, let's see. Anybody else? Last, last uh, scroll through. Oh, I got a, my thumbs in the way. K-pop junkie. Oh. Uh, this is the first time using the phone to stream. So, mm. episode eighty one still having technical difficulties. You figure maybe by a hundred, we'll get things right. <laughs> right. Well, this is the first time we've done it remote. Yeah, this is the first time remote. 
And the first 10 minutes, we, I was trying to get it on the iPad, but I hope nobody saw any passwords that I entered. <laughs> so, all right, everyone. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys soon. Kisses. Focuses. <laughs> How do we sign out of this? <laughs>